Hello and welcome to Fishing Planet. Uh, oh, that's kind of I'm going to turn down just a little bit. Uh, good. This is the Bobcast playing Fishing Planet. Uh, I'm, I'm always excited whenever there's a new update out, and this by far is one of the biggest updates we've had by far. This is update uh, 07, 0 0.70, I believe. Yeah, 0 0.70. We are getting closer and closer and closer to release. You, you're seeing, a, a, you're going to see a totally different game right now. Um, uh, Winter Pike tour, tour is on. There's all sorts of information about the Winter Pike Tour. I'm not going to spend too much time on that. Um, and then uh, we have a new lake. Uh, Quanchkin, I think it is. Uh, Quankin, Quankin Lake in Louisiana. Breathtaking. It's, uh, it's, it's, it, we moved the alligator gar here. So the alligator gar now is here instead of in mud water. And there's, that's just the first of the beginnings. Uh, it's just the first of a lot of changes that you're going to see here. So, um... Let's close this. Uh, yeah, 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 there it is. Uh, the Daily Bones. Yeah, look, the map has changed. Uh, which, to be honest, I think right away sort of signifies that we're, we're in an idea of uh, maybe more of a global uh, a global map, because this does look like we'll see more than just North America at some point. But uh, I'm going to read through the patch notes very, very quickly uh, after I go to, let's see, where are we going we could just go back to Texas. I typically go to Texas when we get started, but uh, even that, uh, the level requirements for a lot of these rivers have all changed, including the cost of which it takes to get the, to get there. Uh, your inventory screen has changed, so I guess before we go fishing, we'll look at this stuff. Uh, things now default to go into your home instead of into your backpack, which is nice. It's easier to find stuff. Uh, the, the shop has gone through a little bit of an overhaul, and uh, more and more tackle has become available. Um... Events uh, look similar, but they, it now is a little bit easier to understand. Like the whole UI, you can tell the whole UI has been transformed. Um, we're getting some controller support enabled, uh, which was before, but a little bit easier to get to, it looks like. And then leaderboards. Uh, speaking of leaderboards, the level cap right away has been changed from, I believe it was 30 up to 40. And uh, they can reach that max level on a limited number of times. So once you hit 40, it's like the game's over. You can go ahead and continue to get 40 and you get the rewards for getting it. Uh, licenses have been changed. Uh, XP requirements have been changed. Just so much stuff. The, the, the game feels completely uh, different. And, I, and I, guess, I guess the game looks completely different. We'll talk about how the game feels completely different in just a moment. But we um, can go to Rocky Lake. Uh, something like that for We can go to shop. Oh, Zoe's here. She's playing Minecraft. Yep. Yeah. Yep. She's, uh, was going to come and we were actually going to record something else, but she said she wanted to finish watching her game. But, uh, so, uh, her making her video. Um, so it does change things now. Even, um, I think, I think our Texas home is still free. That's still our home shop, but the uh, system of, of choosing your own home has been is different. Um, have to buy our Missouri license now for two hundred dollars. Um, and but you, there is a way to purchase your premium account and so forth using Bitcoin, which is funny to me. I don't know why I think Bitcoin is so funny, but uh, uh, I think it's I think it's entertaining. So um, we'll just um, jump in. I have to sneeze. Hold on one second. Bless me. All right. I'm back. Um, um, so, and, and I'm going to dive more into this licensing stuff as we move forward. Uh, but right now, I think we're just going to jump into Lone Star and we're just going to go. We're seeing basic unlimited. Um, uh, I guess Missouri's still unlimited as well. Uh, any of these other ones? Maybe? All right. Let's go to Missouri then because I have more fun with that anyway. So, one day, 500 bucks transfer. Wow. So, it does. Okay. We'll go to Texas. <laughs> because all of the money and how things are calculated has also been changed. Um, oh, clicked off. Here we go. Bring it back. Uh, bring that back. Um, see the screen here that we're looking at here is, is all completely different. So like the whole thing is different. And to be honest, to me, that's still not the most important thing uh, that's happened so far. Uh, look at that. It just, everything just looks prettier. Bye, bye, okay. Um, the whole thing just looks prettier. Uh, all these things can pop out to get more information uh, as necessary. Uh, 
it's just, it just looks cool. Um, we're just gonna jump in here. Choose Paul. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go. Uh, we'll go up here to the swampy exploration. Uh, migration has been imported. So, uh, you know, having. Uh, an idea that the fish are going to move around uh, as, as you're going is, is is implemented within the game and sort of, I don't know if the migration itself, will be, you'll be able to sort of chart the migration and, and learn times of days and so forth. I'm assuming something like that uh, is going to happen. Let's see if we can get that to go back away. Minimize. There we go. Um, here we go. Early morning at home. Let's see if we can get something from the bait pile. I'm pressing it. I'm pressing it. I'm pressing it. I'm pressing it. E e e e e e. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Uh, I have not assembled a rod. Oh, I didn't realize that all that was back off. Okay. Well, that's fine. Um, which I'm glad we didn't go to Missouri then. <laughs> so be aware uh, that you'll have to do all that. And I even said that in the. Uh, we were talking about it, about how everything's been imported back to the, the garage. This is nice now. You do have a store available to you. It's just, I haven't got that far in the patch notes, but uh, uh, yeah, I, I, I'm looking at it real quick. Okay, so I really just, okay, let's let's jump back out. Let's exit. Shouldn't cost us anything. This is our house. Yep, see, good. Okay, close. Okay, I know, I know, I know. Let's, let's run to our house, okay? And all of our stuff should still be there, because it is. So, um, we're soon, we'll just grab our telephone, sure. Put our rod case on, put our belt on, put our denim jacket on. it hook size numero one uh, now we can put our bobber on there and a bait um, sure. it's actually put a smaller let's put a smaller hook on there just because I want to catch a lot of little fish okay what did I put I put a four I think that's what I put okay good Alright, so that's setup number one, setup number two. Um, sure, we'll put our other spinning reel on. Uh, how much line will it hold? Boy, this is the 10 pound test. Let's use the 6 pound test. Can I get it all in there? Good, cut. And let's put a little, let's put a little spoon on it, shall we? Good. Okay. And then finally, number three, back up here with our spinning reel. For our bait caster, excuse me. Good. 
that's in there. Back to these patch notes here. Um, I just wanted to have a little line in the water. So fish calculations have been completely changed. Now fish XP includes uh, um, catching heavy fish with light tackle. So there's some parameters involved. So more difficult fishing uh, leads to greater XP. There's a reduction if you're catching the same kind of fish uh, over and over. Or actually the XP reduction of catching the same fish over and over. Has been reduced so it used to be like if you just sat and caught catfish all day long uh your xp for catfish would be lower and lower and lower where's my where's my oh did they not i, I was gonna did they, did they take our flag out that's weird that's a weird touch isn't it uh what's over there let's, let's run over there is that a person is, is that is that a is that a is that a person? Uh, okay. Um, X, XP alterations are on all, all waterways. My goodness, it looks like a person. I didn't know that you could see people in this game. <laughs> How long has that been in? Uh, has that always been a thing? Huh. Okay. That's weird to me. I don't think that's... I, can't, I don't think that's new. I think that's new. But you think that that would have been a bigger deal. Uh, oh, I'm going to have to get Mikey in here to play now. Alright, so there we go. Um, let's go ahead and cast this out. We're just going to put out there. And you notice how the line changed there quite a bit? Um, the uh, they, They've introduced some new physics for, for the different line movement and then the water movement. Okay, he's looking at me, but I don't have my chat box open, so I don't know if he's talking to me uh, at all. So let's, let's try it. Hello. Um, I got my line too much, I guess. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, I hate that. All right, let's just let's just, let's just minimize that there. So we can see, how, see, I mean, the physics on the line looks amazing. If you ask me, strike was done too early. All right, there we go. All right, leave it alone. All right, uh, no more XP uh, required for gaining it. No. No more XP re a reward for gaining a new level. So if you gain a new level, it's not going to, you don't gain XP for doing it. It is a little bit like taking from Peter to pay Paul. Um, no more XP rewards for achievements. So XP is really going to just going to come from fish, um, which is, which is good. I don't think there's a problem at all with that. Uh, level requirements for in-game tackle. So all that stuff has been sort of rebalanced. Man, come on. You're right in my space. I know. I'm, I see that way that bobber flips. Uh, okay, so in-game currency changes have, have, have been implemented as well. Um, uh, which uh, basically just means Bitcoin is the new, uh, or yeah, I, I said it before, I thought that was absolutely hilarious. Instead of coal, gold, you have Bitcoin. Uh, the game stores earn for competitive achievements, get higher ratings and so forth. Uh, I'm watching this through my other monitor, so... Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, I, I can't click, I can't click, I can't click. Ah! Oh. I, I was scrolling down on the other monitor. I should really bring it up on my phone or something. Uh, but, uh, um, so the cords has been changed. Licenses have now been different. We talked a little bit about that when we saw it at the beginning. 
Uh, basic license now means that you can catch fish in any pond. When you buy a basic license, you can catch fish, but you must release all trophy and unique forms of a large fish, of, of target fish. But you have to keep the, the coarse fish, the rough fish, the fish that uh, live like the carp and so forth. Advanced, you catch, keep, and release all kinds of fish. And then permanent license can be acquired with the premium, which is the bait coin. Um, uh, what else? Traveling, right, we saw a little bit of that as well. Home waterway entity has been removed. Now fishing trips all cost the same for all players, except for Texas, which is what I was a little bit worried about when I first jumped in. The cost of tackle and equipment has changed depending on where you're at, what you're buying, and the price changes of the game store. Money for fish. There's no more gold for catching fish. Uh, changes to the amount of fish, or changes to the amount of money for catching all fish. Uh, and then bait coin is given along with the credits for catching the rare fish. So you still get some of the premium money for catching fish, but it's not gold anymore. It's bait, <laughs> bait coin. Um, you do get a little bit of bait coin when you uh, complete achievements. Uh, when you level up, that you'll get a fixed amount of bait coin. Uh, so that, again, they're still going to give you some of that bait coin as it comes along. Uh, dragonflies have been added to the graphics. Uh, lightning has been added to when there's a storm. Visual hints on the water surface, like uh, you can actually see on the surface, air bubbles and hatchlings have been in. And most of the waterways have been optimized, which was, I mean I'm, I'm really liking that. Uh, the fish and the tackle physics are separated into two different streams so that the tackle and the fish are moving. You're not going to get those uh, big, huge bubbles when a fish follows your bait all the way up to there. It's going to it's going to look different. Fish migration within the waterways has been added, so the fish are going to be moving around a lot more. Tackle load calculation has been changed. Unique forms introduced in all the different fish. So basically, this is exciting. Tiger muskie, which I like. Tiger trout, uh, splite gold trout, and red band trout. I, I talked about this in like episode two. I, I really felt like fly fishing was coming, and look at them add all this trout. I think fly fishing is still going to be coming. And then game characters, 3D game characters have been added. You can see, this is what we just saw. That, that's why I was surprised by that, because I hadn't made it all the way down this list before I started recording the video. But uh, you can modify your 3D game character's appearance. You can chat with a 3D character uh, and above, and then DLC items will be added, like uh, jackets and caps you'll be able to see. So you'll make them a little more cosmetic. Uh, I'm excited to get Mike on here and fish with him and actually be able to stand beside him in a room and, and do that. Uh, game controller interface, we saw that as well, has been added. Game support has been added, or the controller support has been added. My, my controller's sitting right here. I should pick it up and see how it works, but I'm just not sure. You can uh, purchase pond passes for the f six most popular uh, fishing destinations. Also include some advanced licenses. And then two, four new DLCs are going to be added or have been added. There's the bass one at St. Crocs in the El at the Everglades. There's trout at Falcon Lake and White Moose Lake. Salmon at, at uh, King Creek and St. Jose Delta. St. Queen Del Delta, excuse me. And then uh, Catfish DLC. And then also there's a starter DLC and tournament DLCs. So all kinds of DLCs where they're really trying to find ways to pay for this program, I'm fairly certain. So they can keep it. So that's exciting to me is to keep it free uh, for people who just want to try it out and play it on and then continue to add the more pay to play or pay to be more, uh, pay to do more um, sort of pay model, uh, which is good because if you like the game and you're interested in fishing and so forth, you can pay to do more of it. Uh, if you're just sort of wanting to check it out, then you can do that. So we're gonna we're we're gonna actually start to pay a little bit here. Uh, I personally am gonna start to pay a little bit here, uh, in order to to see what some of the other half of that content looks like. I think it's important to do that. This I have a whole thing here um, about the the migration guide. All players will be taken to the global map, which is what we saw before. Active fishing trips will automatically be terminated, so they're done. So nothing carried over from from the old old update to the new update. And uh, so forth. So home state. Changing home state function will be removed from the game. So now, you know, we're we all starting in Texas. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just, I'm quickly scanning here because I feel like we're starting to get a little repetitive in the patch notes. And by all means, you can look at the patch notes. Um, I will attempt to put the, the link in the comments down below. I can do that. Um, and then, and so forth. So, uh yeah, I think it's pretty good. I think it's pretty interesting. And they're in the process of rebalancing uh, some of the older premium content that may have been too successful to maybe some more things. So, all right, I've been standing here for too long. My friend has moved away from me. I don't know where he is. That's fine. I still think that's pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to check chat real quick to see if he ever responded. No, he didn't. He did catch a fish and then left. Okay. 
So, all right, now let's catch fish. Let's catch fish. There's a ton of stuff. I want to see how the physics work with the fish. That's why I went with the little. Look how, look at the, even the end of the pole. Look at the way it's whipping back and forth. Anyway, I'm getting a little excited. I'm, I'm excited to play. I'm glad the uh, out uh, the beta has been updated to the point seven. Uh, oh, I've already got a fish biting at it. Okay, so I'll just leave it alone. Uh, update. Uh, I had a comment on YouTube. Uh, again, I talked about him before. He was asking about if we were going to record any stuff with the uh, update coming. Uh, I think originally the update was going to be out last Monday. It came out uh, today, which is a Saturday. So I'm going to go ahead and release this video today on a Saturday. We're going to record a little bit more this afternoon to record next week's content with, with the updated beta. I'm just going to scrap the episodes that we had pre sort of recorded. There wasn't anything there to see really much anyway. So uh, those things never have to see the light of day. Uh, we'll up, we'll record some new stuff with the with the point uh, seven patch. Oh man, I gotta be careful. Look, look, I'm just barely moving my mouse, so maybe I need to crank down the mouse sensitivity. There we go. Come on, let's catch fish. Uh, let's catch fish. Can I can I go to the menu with fish? And, no, okay. With the rod cast out. I'm just curious. Yeah, I'm gonna take a drink of coffee. That always means I'll get a bite. Not today, I guess. Recorded a, a pretty good podcast with, with Doug and Mike last night about X-Wing miniatures. That um, We uh, had multiple cameras, multiple angles. I'll be spending some time this afternoon trying to edit those things together. Uh, we have played XCOM miniatures before. Not XCOM, X-Wing miniatures, excuse me, uh, before. We have a good time with it. We have a lot of fun with it, but we don't get to play very often. And... Uh, we put a one-hour time limit on the game. It still took us like four hours to play. <laughs> it's just uh, the setup uh, can be immense when you don't know very much when you're trying out different cards and different abilities and different pilots and so forth and we did what was called an epic epic battle because Doug had a great big um, cruiser big imperial cruiser and he, so he filled a, a team of about um, he filled a 200 point team and then Mike and I filled a 200 point team and I'll be honest our 200 point team seemed stacked we had, um, if you don't play the game, this is going to be nothing to you, but we had a, a basically a Millennium Falcon and an Outrider, both of them pretty well stacked. We still had a couple A-Wings, and we had Corn Horn. So he would be dumping, uh, he could dump one tie at a time, and he'd dump that tie, and we'd just blow it up. But uh, in his, you know, his, his, his ship itself didn't have a lot of, a lot of firepower. Did you see the water splash over there? That's pretty cool. The water just looks amazing. Yeah. So it does. I'm going to turn it up. We're not hearing our friendly wolf howl anymore. Okay. Oh, my bait's stuck. That's always fun. All right, there we go. Let's see what happens. I can't really see my bobber. <laughs> I see all the fish back there. I'm kind of excited that they're adding all these bubbles and things like that. And, oh, oh. Oh. Uh, mainly because uh, when you fly fish, you sight read what you're doing. You're, you're throwing your fly where you think the fish is going to be or where you can see the fish or where you know the fish are going to be. Um. The fact that they're adding all these these sort of visual tells makes me hope the fly fishing tackle is coming eventually. Um, we will see. All right, so let's uh, let's let's just try one of the other rods because I'm just kind of curious to see how this is gonna how this is gonna go. We'll go right behind these weeds. Uh, cause the, oh yeah, the, the twitching, the twitching is a little bit out of sight. The line's moving, oh, I'm reeling pretty quick. Yeah, that's part of the problem. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe not. Uh, 
got to catch fish. Look at the way the sun's coming up and the reflection in the water. That's pretty cool. This looks great. This looks great. I'm excited. I am excited. Alright, so my goals this week are to try out a different pond, a different waterway, every video, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So we're going to try. Um, Colorado. We're going to try New York. Um, and then by then, by Friday, I'm hoping I'm high enough I get to the next next spot. If you have some suggestions on the best way to, to catch some fish, let me know. I'm going to be doing some fishing off, off camera. I just hate to do that because I'm afraid what if I catch a major... Oh, what if I catch a huge fish? Then I have to turn it on once it gets started and I could do that too, I guess, but I don't have a fish on, do I? No, okay. That's where the way the, the line is interacting with the water there. That's pretty crazy. All right, we'll try the other rod one time, and then we're gonna then we're gonna call it a video. I know, I'm sorry. I said I wouldn't. I had catch a fish, but. Uh, I'm just pretty excited about this, and I feel like I want to do some investigation here before I waste your guys' time. Um, this is never going to work. I don't have enough line on this guy. I got to, I got to figure out. I got to up my bait caster game. All right, we'll try one more little flip here. Right there. It's snagged. Now it's unsnagged. There you go. It's sitting upright. All right. We'll let it sit for a second. All right. Yeah. Oh, see the fish jump? I'm telling you, I see the dragonflies over there too. In the top corner coming out. Are those like, are those the dragonflies? That kind of butterflies. There we go. Caught us a fish. Caught us a little guy. Golden shiner. All right. Uh, we'll release. We'll release. Doesn't cost us any money to fish here except durability, so might as well try to gain some experience, which is our goal this week. Okay. Let that go. Ah. Alright, come on. Straighten that line up. Look at that fish jump again. Is that the same spot? I'm kind of watching that same spot. Shouldn't be. Should be procedurally generated. I didn't see any of the patch notes about the audio being changed, but it sounds pretty good still. I'm hearing a, I feel like a different variation of bird calls, but maybe it's because we're in Texas and I've been fishing in Missouri. Could be. I don't know. Come on. Come on, sneak up behind these lily pads. There we go. Come on. Yep. It's getting to be lunchtime in the parrot household. Alright, I'm not seeing anything. Come on, give me one more. Oh, oh, did you see those hatchlings? That was cool. That was cool. I don't know if you did, but they're over here on this side of the screen. They just darted across the water. Um, which, I mean, you'd want to use a minnow or something like that in, in that time to try to get predators that were, were chasing those hatchlings to, to come after it. Another fish jumped out there. 
This is crazy. This is uh, this is a this is a pretty big update for them. I mean, this is a, this is cool for them. Um, I think it is though. I'm glad. All right. So I'm just gonna call it a day. I think. And uh, I mean, we covered a lot of information about seven. Um, oh, there's the music. A lot of a lot of information about seven. We got to see somebody in the game for the first time. We caught a little fish, but not much. Uh, oh, they added times to the weather forecast. How phenomenal is that? That's great. Because you're always, you used to be just sort of guessing. Okay, this is noon, and then how many hours to go before that? That's great. That's phenomenal. Um, yeah, that's uh, that's us. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna sit here and fish a little bit longer, but I'm gonna let you guys go and start getting this video uploaded so that you guys can get it today and learn about episode or the update uh, 0.70 yourself. Uh, see you guys next time and goodbye.